Hey guys, what's up? So today we are out here on a beautiful morning, beautiful sunrise out at a place called Swanson Meadows. This is just one of my favorite spots in all of Fresno County to go. Um, it's just this beautiful meadow out in the middle of the mountains that has tons of water running through it. Just a gorgeous place, just a beautiful place to come out and have peace and relax at. So the mountains in Fresno County are something that I'm excited to explore more, capture more of the wildlife around here because it's something that because I don't live quite super close, but I live close enough, I come here sometimes, but I don't come here enough to be able to get a lot of things. So there's so many things that I've yet to capture in photos out in the mountains here. So I am really excited about today. I'm just excited to be out in nature, see this beautiful sunrise over the forest hills, and let's enjoy this beautiful sunrise together. So great start to a morning. I just saw a cream-tailed towhee, which for this area is kind of hard to find. So super beautiful, super happy I got to take some pictures of him. He kind of flew away pretty quick. Wasn't set up at the moment, so nothing super stunning, but still, what a beautiful bird to see. So some of the other birds we're out here trying to capture today would be things like mountain quail. We get western tanagers here, which are a really common bird in these mountains, but western tanagers, ever since I first discovered them when I got into birding, like, they have had a special place in my heart. The males are just like these gorgeous, fiery colors. They have this fiery red head blended into this fiery yellow body, these black wings, and they're just, oh, they're majestic. So I would love to be able to capture any one of those things today. And um, today we might have to kind of see, this is my first trip to the mountains during the spring season, the summer season for my area. So I'm not exactly familiar with the location and where these birds are this year, but we're gonna take a look around and see what we can find. So currently just scouting along this meadow, trying to figure out the best spot to be able to capture um, birds or a pl place to set up and be able to get some good shots. We're having tons of mountain quail calling from all around these hills, but mountain quail are really tricky to capture. Um, you really gotta know where they're going, where they're gonna be because they're just so skittish. But we'll see if we wind up being able to get anything good today. And uh, yeah, it should be an awesome day. to a mountain quail. Capturing him is gonna be a whole different story, but pretty cool. That call just sounds like the mountain. So, I just saw one mountain quail. And he was flying across out there through all the thickets, so. In the mountains, it's so much about sound and locating things by sound because you usually can't see them before you can hear them as opposed to other places. So that's always a something that's a struggle for me because I'm a pretty visual person uh, and it's easier for me to identify birds and see birds according to their motion, but their audio has always been a challenge for me, but something I'm definitely working on. <laughs> Just got a mountain quail up front, but unfortunately the only thing I got of him was a video of him noticing me, kind of hesitating and then running away. So uh, not what I was looking for exactly, but still really cool to see him. They uh, scurry around so fast and their calls are just amazing. They're just so weary of you and I mean, as soon as you see them, they see you. And even though I was patient with this guy, he, uh, yeah, he just, he didn't want anything to do with me. <laughs> So I had to take a break for the moment and uh, take off the ghillie suit and the <laughs> warm jacket because uh, it was getting hot. <laughs> Unfortunately, we haven't had too much luck with those mountain quails. I've tried out a couple of different places um, that they'd be calling from and they're just so vigilant. <laughs> 
that uh, it's really difficult to capture them. So I'm thinking about coming out here a second today now that I know the kind of where the birds are um, this year and the layout of the land because it's so much different from last year and uh, see what maybe I can capture next time. Hey guys, what's up? So today we are here again hiking around and we are trying to find what we're out here for today. So I got a tip that there may be sooty grouse out in this area and there was a male that was drumming the other day. So I am praying and hoping that I can wind up hearing this guy, locating this guy, because I have never gotten to capture a male sooty grouse before. So that would be exciting for me. It's kind of a little bit of change of plans but let's see if we get lucky and see how we do. So we stopped because we have some female deer up ahead. They're not uh, seeming to jump right now. They're seeming to be pretty relaxed with me, which is pretty cool, but yeah, always nice to see deer up in the mountains. So the place I came to today is about uh, 2,000 feet higher in elevation than the last time, and it took me quite a bit longer to get here, so I'm really hoping that waking up at three o'clock in the morning today is gonna pay off by being able to see these guys. I'm hearing mountain quail all around me too, so who knows, maybe we'll get lucky with that. But these mountain quail are definitely hard to get and this is a harder habitat to see them in than the one I was in last time. So this whole location is uh, new to me. I've never been here before, but uh, definitely enjoying uh, this little surprise here, um, just being able to relax for just a couple minutes out on the top of this mountain and looking over that view. But um, yeah, nature is just, uh, a beautiful thing to be a part of sometimes. Hey guys, so little update, uh, super cool. I haven't found exactly what I was looking for yet. I haven't found any um, sooty grouse yet and I haven't had any luck with the mountain quails, but what I did find was a pine martin. I actually had a pine martin stop by but unfortunately I was uh, sitting out here and he was quite a distance away, never got a good shot on him and he was moving really quick. So I got one moment where he paused on a rock, but that was really cool. I have never seen a pine martin in my life. And beyond that, I got a really beautiful shot of a McGalvray's warbler. And so that was really awesome to get as well. Hey guys, so we just moved locations and got two mountain quail um, that walked out in front of me along this little like overgrown path uh, that I decided to camp out by. But unfortunately, um, they just ran back around the bush. I was able to get one shot of one of the guys when they peeped their head out really quick. They just, I love those little twin feathers they have sticking up from their head. It looks so cool. Yeah, not exactly like the perfect shot that I was looking for, but really happy I at least got to get some shots of them right now. Mountain photography is just so interesting, so challenging, and just the way that it is in its nature is just difficult because birds so often like to be high up in the trees or mammals or other birds like to be, you know, hiding behind a bunch of leaves or in the middle of a pile of logs or something like that. And it's just really difficult to be able to do mountain forest photography sometimes. Hey guys, so, um, super cool moment that I'm having right now. I found a jackpot of just like a lot of small birds just flying around me in this one spot. And um, what's really cool is that there's uh, adult male western tanager, which are just gorgeous, but um, unfortunately, he's not, I'm not able to get quite as good of shots with him because he's much more leery of me, but what's really cool is I got a young one who's much more bold, much more excited to see me, and so he's just getting a lot closer to me and uh, letting me check him out. He is looking good, and he is excited to see me. Whew, this is cool. This is, the, these birds are my favorite birds we get in this area. I love western tanagers, but they like to live in the tops of the trees and forage up there, so I rarely see them come down. And so it's just such a treat when I get to see one and photograph one. Oh my gosh, this is, oh. I just got some amazing shots of this western tanager. Oh. 
I am excited. I have never gotten shots of a male this nice and close up with these gorgeous colors and the lighting is perfect. Whew. So I guess I didn't get really great shots of what I was looking for today, but this is, this is almost even better than I expected. I have been waiting a long time to be able to get a good opportunity to these guys. Even though I've seen them like 20, 30 times at least, I just, I've never been able to get shots like this of them. Wow, I love being out in the mountains. It is just, it feels so good to be out in the mountains and just hear the sound virtually almost unaffected by, you know, human activity or things like that. And it's just, there's something just always so relaxing about it. I loved one of those photos I was able to get of the Western Tanger. That made me really happy. And overall, we got a few really good shots from this trip. So. I am really happy with these two days that we've spent up in the mountains. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get those mountain quail as good as I had hoped or get those sooty grouse at all, but next year, <laughs> I guess that's what I'll be going for. I'm afraid that with the sooty grouse, it's a little bit too late in the season to really be able to spot them super well. And Plus, they're a pretty rare bird to find in this area. But those mountain quail, gorgeous birds. I love hearing their sounds. It just sounds like the call of the mountains to me. And so um, that's been really cool being able to see them in those Western Tanager and then just some of those other shots. So I'm so excited to share those with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below. Follow me if you want to follow more wildlife photography adventures like this. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next wildlife photography adventure.